Welcome to my channel, Mallorca Under the Sun, and I'm down here in Palma Nova for a very different kind of video. Now, I don't think you will have seen Palma Nova quite like this before because we have had the best part of three days of solid rain, and I'm on my way to the Radio 1 Mallorca Studios in Magaluf to do my last essential afternoon show with DJ Diablo V. So I'm going to walk through Palma Nova now. Now it's slightly flooded, um, there's not going to be much much talking on here because I can't get my microphone very wet so we're going to just take a look at some of the scenes out here in Palma Nova today. We had forecast something today, something called a medicane, which is similar to a hurricane, but just very windy and very rainy, more like a tropical storm. And it has been really stormy down here. I mean, we haven't quite had the winds that I had expected. So the waves aren't that high and obviously the surfers aren't out at the moment, but the rain has just been horrendous. And the water's come right up to the pathway down here behind Palmanova Beach near Il Turingo. And you can see down by Il Turingo on the beach here in Palmanova, it's also flooded. Now, as you can see up behind the hills of Palmanova, there is storm after storm coming in and just more rain falling here. I mean, it's not great. The drive in here was interesting this afternoon to say the least. Now winter storms out here on the island often mean that these boats that you see out here, if they have not been chained properly or anchored properly, that they do sometimes get washed up onto the beach. And there have been many times in the past where we've seen yachts being washed up on, well, particularly San Matias Beach actually. So fingers crossed that doesn't happen during the course of the next few days. Now I'm just behind Delicious here and outside what used to be Munro's and a river seems to have formed out here. I mean, it's quite deep. I don't really fancy the chances of any uh, car coming out here. And you can see the flooding down here, right down the back of the Santa Lucia. Just check out this. I mean, it's just seriously crazy. Okay, it's absolutely throwing it down here now. The winds come in. I'm wondering if this, this Medicane has finally arrived. It's super windy here. And I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep heading now into Magaluf and down to the Radio 1 studios. All the way along the walkway here, down here behind St Matthew's Beach, is completely flooded too. And I think I'm in the only place in Palmanova that is open this afternoon. I am down in Ciso Beach. As you can see, it's absolutely throwing it down, but this restaurant is still open and it is hoping for some guests. I'm not quite sure if they're going to get them today though. Now, I don't think you've ever seen Palma Nova quite like this before. I, I don't think even I have, not on the November day. It's a little bit early for this kind of weather to, to come over the island. You can see I'm just coming up the strip here in Magaluf. It was quiet this summer, but it's even quieter today. There's just rivers of water running down here. And the second open place I've seen today, Uncle Tom's pub on the strip is open. Now I'm just on the corner of Alex's here. It's still absolutely lashing it down. So I'm gonna to have to pick the pace up because I have to be in the studio in about three minutes. see down here on Magaluf Beach the whole area in the square here it's all flooded too right across the Blackbeards also flooded just as well that's shut for the season ok 
case I've made it to the Radio 1 Mallorca studios. That's it, guys, and thanks very much, much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a very different video today um, about Parmanova and Magaluf in the rain. Now I'm going to head on to the radio, um, and I've got some exciting news for you coming up in the next few weeks about my channel, which is why I won't be doing the radio anymore. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.